Giant diesel tanks caught fire Saturday in a residential Beirut neighborhood burning more than a dozen cars in a parking lot and damaging a building nearby. Firefighters and civilians tried to extinguish giant flames. A local paramedic at the scene said no one was hurt in the fire that spread quickly. The fire in Beirut's commercial Hamra district came amid an ongoing Israel-Hezbollah war and after a night of airstrikes by Israel's air force on Beirut's southern suburbs. Lebanon has been witnessing long hours of power cuts by the state's electricity company and most people rely on private neighborhood generators despite the dangers of storing fuel in heavily populated residential areas. In Ukraine, the Major General of the Russian Army, Pavel Klemenko, who commanded the 5th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade named after Alexander Zakharchenko, was killed. Russian pro-war publics were the first to report this. Telegram channel, Vazny i Istoriai managed to verify the identity of his sisters who left comments on the post in the public, Donbass, heart of Russia. This post was later deleted. General Sister Ekaterina Klemenko confirmed the information about his death to the publication Astra. Telegram channel, Spy Dossier, published a document with the circumstances of the death of Major General of the Russian Army Pavlo Klemenko in the occupied Donetsk region. It says that a high-ranking military man, along with a group of fighters, was attacked by FPV drones while traveling on motorcycles. As a result, Klemenko received numerous injuries and fractures. Reports indicate that soldiers from this brigade killed Russell Bentley, an American working for Russian propaganda, in April 2024. Vazny Astoriai reported that this marks the 13th reported death of a Russian general in the full-scale war against Ukraine, with only eight of these confirmed by Russian authorities. Klemenko is a native of Stavropol, Russia, who served in annexed Crimea prior to the invasion of Ukraine. He was promoted to Major General in May 2024. In April, Klemenko's fighters reportedly tortured Vladimir Frolov, an illegally conscripted music teacher with a third-degree disability. Frolov, who sought demobilization due to his health, was instead taken to the torture basement of the 5th Brigade. His death certificate claimed he died during an assault, but relatives stated that his body was so severely disfigured by torture that he had to be buried in a closed coffin. An investigation by Russian media showed that Klemenko ran a concentration camp-style torture facility for Russian soldiers at an abandoned Petrovska mine in Donetsk. There, soldiers are allegedly tortured to force them to hand over their salaries and compensation for injuries to their commanders, sometimes with commanders intentionally wounding them to claim these funds. President Vladimir Putin on Thursday congratulated Donald Trump on his election victory in the Russian leader's first public comment on the outcome of the U.S. vote. Putin's comment came after a speech during an international forum conference in the Black Sea resort of Sochi. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate him on his election as President of the United States of America, Putin said in a question-and-answer session. What was said, by Trump, 
in the desire to restore relations with Russia, to help end the Ukrainian crisis, in my opinion, seems to deserve at least attention, Putin said. Я не хочу сейчас комментировать то, что было сказано в ходе избирательной борьбы. И я думаю, что сказано сознательно в борьбе за голоса избирателей. Но не важно. А вот то, что было сказано по стремлению, стремлению восстановить отношения с Россией, способствовать завершению украинского кризиса, мне, на мой взгляд, кажется, это заслуживает внимания, как минимум. И я пользуюсь случаем, хочу поздравить его с избранием на пост президента Соединенных Штатов Америки. Я уже говорил, что, что мы будем работать с любым главой государства, которому окажет доверие американский народ. Так будет и, действительно и на практике. А если, он, а если он выполнит то, что все время сейчас говорил, вот буквально в ближайшее время до инаугурации позвонит вам и скажет, Владимир, давай встречаться. Вы знаете, я не считаю зазорным и со своей стороны ему позвонить. Просто не делаю этого, потому что э, руководители западных государств э, с какого этапа, они чуть ли не каждую неделю мне звонили, а потом вдруг прекратили. Ну, не хотят, ну, не надо. Мы, как видите, живы, здоровы, и ничего, и развиваемся, идем вперед. Если кто-то из них э, захочет возобновить контакт, я всегда говорил, хочу еще раз сказать, мы ничего против не имеем. Пожалуйста, будем контакты возобновлять и вести дискуссии. Ну, то есть с Трампом готовы повести? Готово, готово. Хорошо.